Uh, so what I'm about to read to you is from opacityus.com, uh, I believe. Um, in any case, Connecticut Valley Hospital um, is over 150 years old. Um, it was built in 1866 and it opened in 1874 um, and it was a psychiatric hospital. So it says, even before, um, when it was partially completed, the Connecticut Valley Hospital for the Insane opened in 1868. It was already overcrowded um, upon completion and um, it didn't provide enough relief for the patients, so they had to expand further, which is pretty interesting. Wow, look at this. The patient to staff ratio was at 230 to 1 by 1890. And these dismal statistics were to be found in many state funded institutions at the time, which is true. Just like Fairfield Hills, Norwich State Hospital, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, eventually, um, superintendents and the doctor, um, I believe his name was Dr. Noble, assumed control of the hospital. And um, after a while, he separated patients by symptoms, and um, he treated all of them. Um, I guess it was just categorized. Okay, so it says here, and then in 1904, Connecticut's second asylum was opened in Norwich, which was Norwich State Hospital. Um, but it didn't alleviate the overcrowding in Middle Middletown, um, in Middletown at the Connecticut Valley Hospital, unfortunately. So along with other state hospitals, there were cemeteries on campus, and uh, the graves were only marked with um, a number to provide an am Why can't I say that right now? <laughs> Along with other state hospitals, though, there is a cemetery on the grounds here at Connecticut Valley Hospital. Um, a lot of the plots were marked with, or the headstones were just marked with numbers to provide anonymity for the, for the patients that passed. However, now there tends to be more ceremonies going on to try to memorialize those who were lost, um, who died there, which is kind of, you know, it's kind of neat. And Connecticut Valley is still a hospital to this day, 2020, um, April 19th to be specific. And um, it's still used, it says here, um, for forensic uh, severe addiction and geriatric treatments. So that's pretty interesting as well. All in all though, we're about to get in the car and head over there now. Um, I'm not sure how crowded the campus is gonna be. I'm not sure if we're gonna have run into anybody. Um, but specifically speaking, we're gonna see what we can get once we get there, footage wise. Um, it's gonna be beautiful. Um, there's a lot of history there, so. We're cleaning the bathroom right now, so you just heard that toilet flush. And I'm gonna flush this. But uh, we're gonna be right back at you guys. Um, yo, I can't wait to get there. I haven't been there in like two years, so. It's going to be interesting showing Lena, uh, Lena the property. Yeah, I hope she likes it as much as I do. I doubt it. So I'm actually, I'm on Lena's phone right now. I'm looking at, there's a lot of cool pictures here, guys. A lot of historic photos here. Which just, it just builds more credentials to the fact why I'm going here and taking pictures. A lot of do personal documentation for myself. Um, also just to walk through history itself. Um, you understand, not all these places, whether they're haunted or not, not all the places we go to, we're going to just to get spiritual or supernatural phenomena. We're going here just to enjoy history itself. Hmm. There she is. Hey, she beautiful. That's mine. And ain't she a dime. She's fine. 